Bari, it's Akachan no Tatsumaki, and this is another episode of uh, Walk to Nostalgia, where which I'll be reviewing one of personally my favorite games, J Stars Victory Versus Plus. Uh, I felt I felt like it's apparent to review this game now because of the current uh, Shonen Jump Smash game that's coming out, Jump Force, and you know more or less I just wanted to get out of the way so I can get in deep more balls deep between this game and the current one and how I feel. Kakak the Koi. When I first got J Stars Victory Plus, uh, it was around at least 2015, and of course when I heard about it, I saw it. The ads on TV, saw it in Game Former books, heard people talk about it, and more or less I just had to get it at all costs. Uh, pretty much I went to the GameStop, I got it, it was at least about 50 bucks when I got it. And of course when I first popped it into the PS3 I was hyped, I'm like, this game had everyone, they had, the, they had Goku, they had Ichigo, they had, uh, it, it, it had a lot of people, but more or less... I was really hyped when I first played it, and although how good it is, it is it does have a really for, formulaic, you know, uh, anime esque game format like previous things, like you know the typical strong button, strong combo attack, fast combo attack, special ability where you lift the analog up or you push circle and lift the analog up for the different one. It was it was. Yeah, you know, it had this typical format. Click R3 to do ultimate attack. And, uh, the more, and the more actually I got in depth to this game, and when I first saw it in terms of visuals, I more or less said to myself, like, yeah, this is a good game, but it's not a perfect one. And, of course, that would go with anything. Like, there was a lot of, you know, just hit or miss, you know, really, uh, um, exclusive Jap uh, uh, exclusive Japanese anime characters and you know it's a lot of more or less it was, had a lot of known names in this game and the fa and the, and the pitiful part of it is that when there's a lot of known names there's also there's only like only a few handful of uh, heavy hitters that people know about so that's one thing I didn't care about and now that and at first I looked at this game I thought it had like beautiful good graphics that's the little cell shading but it's realistic concept to it and now that I'm looking back at it I still play this game I still love it now I'm looking back at it I'm playing it and what I can and what I think when I'm looking back at the graphics wise and more or less I kind of realize how dated they look in certain cases in age well and to be honest even when first play now that I think about it the graphics wasn't wasn't really all that either. I mean, when I, when, I, when I play this game now, I always currently think, like, wow, man, these characters, these renders, these sprites for all these characters look like look like toys. They look like action figures, something you can pull off the shelf. Um, uh, more or less, yeah, that's how I felt. Visually, it's it didn't age well, and in terms of mechanics, it's really formulaic. It's really here and there, you know, button push, ultimate attack, you know, Ninja Storm's Bukai Tenkaichi X mechanics to it. And even for, and, and this game in general is just a really clunky mess. Like, you'll like literally push a whole combo on somebody and it'll at least take like, I don't know, 50 minutes for them to actually budge. It was clunky, the combos were clunky, the recovery time was terrible. And some characters in this game, uh, momentum just eats up every time you at least do one of the most uh, 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 brittle attacks in the game. So, more or less, I was in and out with it. I mean, it's not bad. I still enjoy it. It's, it's, uh, what type of game? What's that, that word they, they came up with? It was, uh, it's a guilty pleasure game. It's good. I can still go back and play it, but it's still a clunky and, clunky and unorthodox mess so uh i'll be giving a uh, uh, j stars adequate i mean they could have done better but i'm still looking back at it i'm still actually i'm, I'm saying this without any sugar coating at all you know how much i like this game even when i first got it i can still openly admit that uh it was a clunky mess and it was buggy clunky 
you know, here or there, hit or miss game uh, a title. So, yeah, I'm giving it an adequate. And now that we're off the discussion of J-Stars, I would like to get on the discussion of uh, Jump Force. Um, I know, like, everyone in the comment section is, like, going to, like, have me on a spit right now when I say this. But I'm going to be for real with y'all. I'm going to be 100. I'm not curious at all about Jump Force. Jump Force, in general, just doesn't amaze me. Uh, it just, it's just not, it, it doesn't, it just seems like this game, but just with better graphics and from all the, from all the reaction videos I saw, everything people had to say about the trail, about the game, all they said is how good the graphics was. I mean, from even looking at the trailers and how some of the comp, the combo input is, it still looks like a clunky mess and the recovery time on the game still looks like shit. I mean, of course, I have gripes of the games. So I have to say some things I do like it because I'm not going to sugarcoat my complete disinterest for Jump Force. I'm not going to say it's, it's like really bad. Uh, yeah, so like as people said, graphic wise, it looks clean, but also just like J Stars, it kind of suffers from, you know, looking like an action figure. I mean, the, the, the overall renders, the overall sprites for Jump Force just is not appealing to me. And honestly, people said how bad Street Fighter V's animation was, but on a personal level, they kind of almost look really similar. They look like action figures. They look like toys. I don't really like how Jump Force looks, or J-Stars looks, or even Street Fighter looks. They just look like toys, something you can pick off a shelf. It's just, the, anim the graphics is just not appealing to me. The, the fact that they try to make them more, look more humanoid, it just comes off like, really really bizarre really really cryptic uh in, in a lack of in a better put words i mean but yeah the only things i can see are the graphics is good and uh i like how they actually have the manga only uh bleach characters because i actually really do like the quincy saga and i like the fact that Jasona jump still knows bleach in itself is relevant and they're not going to just stick to you know what happened in the past what happened in the anime they're going to stick to what's helped for bleach so that's another thing I like. And uh, pretty much also like the Dead or Alive Tekken-esque uh, 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 Injustice um, select screen uh, hits. Yeah, you know, when you transition to another part from Pacific Punch. I mean, that looks kind of interesting. But that's really about it. Uh, I'm not curious about the game because it's just J-Star. And J-Star is not bad. I just feel like there's no point in just getting the exact same game. Uh, I'm not crazy about Jump Force, more or less. I don't like how, I graphically don't like how it looks. It still looks clunky. It still looks clunky. The recovery time still looks like shit. It looks like it's slow. I mean, I pray it might be wrong. They're still probably fixing it now. But from what I've seen right now, it's just not tugging any strings for me. <sighs> so, yeah, that's all I got to say for this review. And like and subscribe and whatnot, you know. Uh, hit the notification bell, and, you know, I'll be around, you know, Quahiri, man, Quahiri, and look out for uh, uh, two more videos later, this, later this time.